Hey guys, Thunder E here, and I have another Windows 10 upgrade video for you. Now I'm taking a tap uh, a laptop from 2010. This is a Sony Vio. I can't remember the model number. We'll check at the back. Um, and this is actually capable of running Windows 10 on its own. But this is a nice way of taking an older computer and also upgrading with uh, a few parts to make it run faster and run Windows 10. I'm running technical preview on this. I will be running technical preview. So here's the Sony Vio, and if we can see, this is the model number SVE151D11L. Um, Doesn't matter, you can use your own laptop. Now I've taken away the hard drive and one of the memory modules. It came with only four gigs of RAM. Uh, it came with a standard 500 gigabyte hard drive. And um, if you open it up, you can see here, it's a Core i3. You guys can see that clearly. And it was running Windows 7 on here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade this. So I had four gigs of RAM here. I went ahead and got another uh, four gigs. I got a Kingston value RAM. You can get this up, pick this up for about $32.99 on Amazon, pretty cheap. If you have four gigs, this, this runs max eight. So whatever your uh, configuration is, the best way to check is just go to crucial.com and you can either download the software or use the model number to check that. Now I would decide to go with an SSD because I wanted something faster and I decided to go with the Kingston um, SD now 300V, it's a value SSD. This is 240 gigabytes, it retails for $97 right now. I could have gone to 128, but I figured I can still get this for sub 100. So this is pretty cool that I can get this for um, uh, 197. The 480, which is the next higher version, it goes for about one, 120, 150, I could be wrong, but I know this is 97, um, 97 bucks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install, of course, my uh, my SSD as well as my RAM, uh, close it all up, power the system, and run Windows 7. So um, let's just go ahead. Um, now, in terms of all, everything else I need, besides that, I do need a USB drive with Windows 10 um, technical preview. I said seven there, I apologize, Windows 10 technical preview. Um, there's some really easy instructions. I think I'll put an annotation there for you guys on how to actually create one of these USB bootable drives. You need some screw screwdrivers. Um, I have a very basic set screwdriver Phillips head. I do have a full toolkit head here, which I picked up from the iWorks toolkit. I picked up from Micro Center. It's like, this is like six bucks because this had specific screws that were smaller. So the first thing I'm gonna do is of course put my memory in here into the memory modules. Make sure they align. This is a 204 DIMM. Uh, RAM module, slide that in, boom, and then slide this in here again at the very top, boom. So my eight gigs are installed completely here, and then all I have to do is pretty much slide this in, use my um, screwdriver kit, and boom, that's there. Now with my um, my RAM, which basically goes here like this on this module. Just to make sure this actually slides which way? That way. So I'm going to fasten some screws on here on this bad boy and uh, make sure. So my screws are all back here. I should bring them closer so I know what I'm doing. And uh, fasten these screws on. Shouldn't take too long to do this. I almost put the wrong screw down. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Some hard drive screws. Do, 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 do. All right, so the memory's in, hard drive is also connected to the SSD. So now I'm gonna power this on, and I actually had to switch out this is the correct USB flash drive for Windows 10 technical preview. Uh, now, before we even start off, I wanna tell you that some of your drivers may, of course, not be available. So you might need to download them separately on a different computer and install them. So look for the drivers for your specific computer. In this case, this is Sony Vio E. Uh, we'll go ahead and power this on. And this should take us straight to the boot setup. All right, so Windows 10 technical preview is about to kick in uh, and install on the system. Again, now we've upgraded this with, with an SSD and extra memory. And in all total, this only cost us an extra, uh, it's $97 was uh, a second. So we have a valuation bill 9926, um, 97 plus uh, 32 there, um, so it's roughly about 100 and 
uh, $29. Or you could go even with a smaller SSD if you like or a larger SSD depending, but we have eight gigs of RAM and we also have an SSD on the system. So this is a nice way to upgrade an older laptop and especially moving up to a new operating system here. All right, here we have it, Windows 10 on our laptop here. We've got full Windows 10. Uh, we signed in a local account to make it easier for us just to set it up quickly. And, um, you know, we have all the features here. We can go ahead and um, open up some applications, all that fun stuff. And uh, let's see what we have here in terms of just system specs. Right click, property. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see that clearly, so I'm going to actually drop the exposure here down just a bit. And I'm gonna zoom in closer. So you can see there, still running the Core i3 processor. Um, we've got eight gigs of RAM. Uh, I've got a uh, 64-bit operating system, Windows 10 here. And this is Windows 10 technical preview, as you'd expect. Hard drive space, 206 available. And there you have it. So that's it. It's a very simple thing to do. You can upgrade all the systems with this, which is very nice. And uh, basically start running Windows 10 and uh, you probably have a faster, more efficient system. This actually is much snappier than what it was with Windows 7. It was literally terrible. It's downright terrible. So there you have it. That's Windows 10 here. Um, upgrade on an older PC, older system. If you have any questions or any comments, let us know. We'll try to answer them for you as best as we can. Of course, some of the hard drive as well as memory setups will be different for your system. So check online to see if somebody has, shows you how to actually upgrade the memory and hard drive for your system, if it's an older system. But that's it, very simple. Anyway guys, thank you and uh, always enjoy your entertainment.